At the beginning of the movie we were introduced to a woman named Lisa. Lisa works as hotel manager in a famous and luxurious hotel in Miami called Lux Atlantic. Lisa is off to Dallas to attend the funeral of her grandmother while she is in the car on her way to airport. Lisa gets a call from her friend and colleague named Cynthia. Cynthia is not a very bright woman and she is facing problems with the elderly couple whose reservation data is lost by an accident when Cynthia couldn't find any data on their reservation. The couple tells her they made the observation six months ago and tells their regular customers here. They then asks her to call the manager to talk with her. Lisa talks with Cynthia and gives passwords to a file containing a list of backup rooms. Cynthia gives them a room and gives them a free stay for the night. Cynthia thanks Lisa for saving her. Then Cynthia gets a message from the security that a politician named Charles Keefe is coming for a stay and she informs this to Lisa. Lisa tells her to reserve the room that Keefe stays unusual later. Lisa gets to the airport while walking and she gets a call from her father. He tells her how the remodeling of their house is going on, and he also tells Lisa that he has lost his wallet after getting in. Lisa finds out that her flight has got cancelled due to some reasons and she had to wait for a replacement for a while while waiting in the line. Lisa meets old women when the woman looks at the book Lisa is reading and says she is a huge fan of the writer. Lisa gives her the book saying she already finished it multiple times. Then Lisa sees a man as getting into an argument with a flight attendant and steps in to help her when he tries to pick a fight with Lisa. Someone named Jack steps in to help Lisa. Jack startles him and the man goes away. Lisa introduces herself to Jack and he invites her to get a drink. But Lisa goes from there saying she has to make some phone calls. While walking, Lisa bumps into a woman and coffee gets spilled on her. Then she gets into the washroom and gets a change of clothes. Later Lisa sees Jack at the bar in the airport and gets to Jack and sits besides him. Then Jack offers her a drink and tries to guess she likes and he gets very close. Lisa appreciates him saying that he's got some talent. They chat for a while and Jack introduces himself saying his name is Jackson. When Lisa calls him Jack he tells Lisa he hasn't been called that since grade school. When Lisa asks why he tells his last name is Ripnor and it sounds similar to Jack the Ripper. While they are chatting the airport staff announces that the replacement flight is all set and informs the passengers to board the plane. Then Jack goes to take a call and Lisa goes to board the plane after in the attendance shows Lisa where her seat is when she gets to. There she sees Jack in the seat beside her. Then Jack helps Lisa with her luggage. Later Jack jokingly asks Lisa if she is stalking him and they laughs over it and soon the flight gets ready to take off while the flight is taking off. Lisa gets so scared due to her fear of flying. Jack talks with her in an attempt to distract her by asking Lisa some of her details. Lisa gets distracted while talking to him after the flight takes off. Lisa thanks Jack for distracting her. Then Jack tells her that is not exactly what he is trying to do. When Lisa asks what he is trying to do, then Jack tells that he is just trying to keep focus on Lisa and her father. When Lisa asks why he tells it is just a part of job. When Lisa asks what his job is Jack tells that he do some high profile assassinations. But Lisa brushes it off thinking he is joking and says whatever he do is his business. But when Jack says that his business includes her, this time Lisa gets confused. Then Jack asks Lisa about the public Charles Keefe who is going to stay at the hotel. Lisa works in. When she tries to avoid the topic, Jack threatens her to listen to him if she doesn't want her father to get hurt. When Lisa gets scared and calls for the attendant, Jack shows her father's purse to Lisa and warns her and tells he also had a man waiting at her house to kill Lisa's father if she tries to make the situation worse. Lisa then sits down crying and the flight attendant approaches her after seeing the call she sees Lisa crying and asks if everything is okay. Jack says she is just dealing with a death in the family and sends her off after the attendant left. Jack tells Lisa to call her hotel and use her managerial pool to change Keith's room into the one he said when Lisa tells he got the wrong person and she doesn't have authority over it. Jack threatened to kill her father when he hands her over the phone to call her hotel. Lisa asks Jack how she knows that her father is safe and she demands him that she wants a confirmation and tells she won't be doing anything. He said until she knows that her father is safe. Then Jack hands her over the phone and lets Lisa to call her father after Joe pick up the call Lisa talks with him. And while she is talking Jack snatches the phone from her and cuts the call. Then suddenly a lady approaches Jack and asks his help with the luggage. When Jack goes to help her the old woman from earlier approaches Lisa with the book to ask her something Lisa takes the book and she highlights some lines to let the old woman know about her situation while Jack is busy. When Jack returns back to see the Lisa tries to act like nothing happened when Jack asks her but gets angry. 
and headbutts her and knocks her out after a while Lisa wakes up again and sees Jack has the book. Now he warns her to stop doing these stupid things or she might put her father's life in danger. He then hands her over the phone to make the call. Lisa then asks assurance from him to leave her father after that call and Jack promises Lisa she then calls the hotel and Cynthia picks up while she is asking Cynthia to make. The changes the line suddenly went off but Lisa still pretends to talk with Cynthia and telling her to change that room. But soon Jack notices this and pulls the phone from her and sees the line is off. Jack again warns Lisa to stop playing these games. After a while Lisa tells him that she wants to use the restroom and Jack lets her go while she is waiting at the door. Jack keeps a watch on her. Then a little girl named Rebecca comes there too. Rebecca notices something is off after seeing Lisa panicking and starts suspecting Jack. Lisa gets in and she starts crying due to her helpless situation but she decides not to give up and she gets up and uses the hand wash to write something on the mirror. Back at the seat, Jack sees that the phones are online again. When Lisa opens the door to get out she sees Jack is standing right in front of her. He sees that message she left on the mirror and rushes into the toilet. The message says that Jack has a bomb with him. He beats her cause she is trying to act smart. Meanwhile the attendant comes to take Rebecca and Rebecca tells the attendant a woman went into the toilet with a man. After hearing the noises from the toilet the attendant thinks they are making out and doesn't pay much attention to it. Meanwhile Jack wipes of the writings off the mirror with a tissue and warns Lisa not to do this kind of things again. He then tells her the phones are working again and gets her out of there. After returning back to the seats Jack hands her over the phone and makes her call the hotel. Cynthia picks up the call and Lisa tells her that there is a maintenance issue in the room which is reserved for Keith and tells her they should change the room. Lisa tells her to change Keith to 4080. When Cynthia reminds her the security might not accept this, she asks her to tell them she is one that authorized this after the call is done. Lisa asks Jack to call his mom off since the job is done. But Jack says that he still needs her and says he will do it after Keith's death is confirmed later. Keith arrives to the hotel and Cynthia hands the security the room keys when they asks what happened to the room they booked. She tells there is plumbing problem when the security tries to change the room. Keith asks who made the changes when she said Lisa's name. Keith says it is okay and he knows her later while the flight is a landing. Jack tells Lee after he get a call from his men that Keith is dead. Then he will leave Lisa and her father alone after the flight landed. She takes out a pen and uses it to stab Jack in the throat and runs away by taking his phone. Lisa tries to rush out of the flight and Jack tries to follow her. Then a woman sees Jack and informs this to the attendants. Lisa immediately runs away after they open the door and the flight attendants reports about Lisa to the security. Jack goes into the toilet to look in the mirror. Then a doctor gets to him and tells it is all fine and the pen is just in his windpipe and not much damage has happened. Jack then pulls out the pen and takes the scarf of a woman and wraps it around around his neck and follows Lisa after getting into the airport Lisa escapes from the security but she soon gets discovered by Jack and he runs after her Lisa runs away from him and gets loose of him she gets out of the airport and gets into someone's car and steals it meanwhile at the hotel the security did a checking and sees a fishing boat near them they send a team to check on and after confirming that everything is okay Keith gets into that room meanwhile in the fishing boat they pull out a box from the water with a rocket launcher in it back to Lisa she is trying to contact her father while driving. When he doesn't respond, she calls Cynthia and tells her to turn on the fire alarm to evacuate everyone and inform Keith about their situation. Cynthia immediately turns on the fire alarm and rushes to Keith's room. Cynthia informs this to the security and they rushes Keith and his family to get them to safety back at the boat. The assassins prepare the rocket launcher and fires it onto Keith's room but by the time it hits them they got Keith and his family to safety. Meanwhile Lisa gets to her house and sees Jack's man out there when he sees Lisa there he tries to shoot her but Lisa runs the car onto him. She gets to her father and after seeing him safe and sound she goes to call the hotel. Cynthia informs Lisa. The Ks are safe and asks what is going on. Lisa tells she will explain everything after getting there. When she tries to go out she sees Jack at her house. She escapes from him and goes to the kitchen and sees her father conscious. He tries to follow her but gets stripped on the way. Then he picks up a knife. He goes after Lisa who is hiding. Jack finally catches her but she manages to beat him with a bat. But in the end Jack gains up her hand. He throws Lisa down from the stairs and picks up the knife to kill her. Lisa takes a gun and and shoots him but Jack still manages to kick the gun out off her hands. Then Lisa's father comes to aid and shoots Jack with the gun and kills him later. Lisa gets to the hotel and meets Cynthia and appreciates her for saving the keys. 
Then Charles Keefe approaches Lisa and thanks both of them. After he left the elderly couple approaches Lisa and starts complaining on Cynthia. Lisa then asks them to fill up a complaint card on Cynthia and then tells them to shove it up and that's it. What are you waiting for? Subscribe the channel to see more recaps and don't forget to like the video and click bell icon to see more videos. Have a good day.